Perfect. Welcome to bar. My name is Jenny and we're just going to get going. We're going to start standing because that is a fun way to begin. Yeah. All right. Let me turn my music on. So I have something to jam out to you. All right. Roll your shoulders out side to side. Just kind of shift your weight. Take some deep breaths. Good. Step one, don't take yourself too seriously. Step two, begin to move. We're here to up our games. So that's what we're going to do. All right, here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice knee bend. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Good, feet are nice and wide. Two, and two. Good, two, two, two by two. Keep going, two, two. Getting some pops in there maybe. Add your arm, here we go. Reach, and reach, and reach. Good, reach, keep going. Good, flat back in the middle, straighten your legs and bring it up. Toes are gonna to face the front. Nice little hinge from the hips, chest leads. Bring it back up, just warming up our spine. Good, bring it back up, you got it, go again. Good, next time you're in that hinge, stay there. Good, arms go down and out, down and out, down and out. Down and out. Keep going. Down, out. Should be feeling this through the back of your legs, maybe. Also warming up our shoulders. Good. Bring yourself back up. So you walk it in. Feet come together, heels in, toes out, roll your shoulders back. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. Working into our feet, especially if they're cold. See if we can get a little bit of a head start on warming them up. Nice. Four, three, two, last one. Good. Bend your knees, one heel lifts, little pulses. So knees go wide. Tuck your tailbone under so it's turning side for you. So you're not sticking your butt back, keeping everything engaged, everything in line. Good, switch it out, other side. Just little pulses. Again, tuck your tailbone under, you're going straight down. Four by four, here we go. Four, three, two, Switch, four, three, two, switch again, four, three, two, switch, and four, three, two, switch, two by two, two, and two, two, roll your shoulders back, don't stick your ribs out, tuck your tailbone under, two, and two, you can stick with your two by two, or switch to singles, here we go, one, 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 you got this one. Three, two, one, let it go. Nice, shake it out. Woo, all righty. Good, feet are nice and wide, roll your shoulders back. Bend your knees, arms reach out, knees pulse back, back, back. Again, tucking my tailbone under, so I'm not dumping here, even though my knees are pressing back. I'm still keeping this under, not sticking it back, right? Keep everything engaged, everything in line. Woo, don't fall over. Nice. Good, let's get some knee bends and shoulder. Down, pull back. Down, pull back. Good, really bending into the slight. Doesn't matter if this one bends or not, you might bend a little bit. You might not, 
but you really want to reach up and over, pull that shoulder back. Good. Again, just still trying to get into our bodies a little bit. Other side, here we go. Good, again, really reaching out, getting this nice side stretch, oh, and then pulling back. Perfect. Check in with your breath. Make sure you're still using it. One more. Good. Woo, roll those shoulders out. Alrighty. So it was a really short warm up, but we're going to continue to warm up at our bar. So find a ledge, find a chair, find a wall. Doesn't matter. You don't need to be on your mat if you have one. Good, all righty, we're gonna start in first position. So heels in, toes out, roll your shoulders back. Good, finding that releve. So just up on your toes. And then again, try to keep your tailbone tucked under so you can even put your hand on your low back. Make sure you don't dump forward. As you bend those knees, heels drop, stand up. Good, releve, bend your knees, heels drop, stand up. Up, bend, heels, 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 stand up. Keep going. Up, bump, bump, and up. Up, bend, heels, stand up. Up, bend, heels, stand up. Up, bend, heels, stand up. Good this time. Go up, down, heels down. Stay in your little squat, just your heels are lifting up and down. Good, keeping your knees bent. Knees go nice and wide. Just those heels going up and down. Good, lift your heels up and stand up. Here we go, we're gonna go up and down with your heels lifted. If you need to, you can put your heels on the ground. Otherwise, keep them there. Down and up. Really squeeze your bum at the top if you want a little bit of extra. Nice, just up and down in that releve. Good, stay down, pulse is back. Again, those knees are just going wide. Belly button to your spine. For four, and three, and two. And one, stand up, excellent. And shake out those feet. Sweet, and we're gonna go ahead and go to second position. Sometimes we reverse it, but not today. We're gonna keep it decently simple. All right, here we go. You're gonna releve again, lift those heels up off the ground. Knees bend, heels down, stand up. Squeeze your bum, knees wide, heels down, stand up. Heels up, knees bend, heels down. Stand up, down, down, stand up, up, down, down, stand up, up, down, down, stand up, up, down, down, stand up. Again, if you want, you can really squeeze your bum whenever you stand up and keep it engaged as you lift into that releve. Just a little extra option. Good. Next time you're up, you're gonna bend those knees, keep your heels lifted, stay in your knee bend, heels drop, heels up, heels drop, heels up. So your head's not going up and down, just those heels. those thighs working out for you. Keep your knees nice and wide. Good. 
Yeah, next time you're here, lift it, stay there, up and down. Here we go, up and down, up and down. Again, if you need to drop your heels on this, you can. Otherwise, stay in your releve. Belly button in, going straight down. Good. Again, you can squeeze your bum as you lift. Few more. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Nice. Kind of shake it out. All right, let's go from fifth position. So all that means is that you have heel toe, heel to toe. Pick one in front. We're gonna do both sides. Excellent. And we're gonna reverse. So before we were doing releve, bend your knees, heels down, stand up. So we're just gonna go the other way. So down, bend your knees, raise your heels, stand all the way up, heels down. Bend, raise, raise, 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 heels down. You got this, bend. Up, up and down. Up and down a few more. Good, last one. Nice, bend your knees, heels up, heels down, heels up, heels down. Again, so make sure you're not leaning over into your chair or your ledge. Nice and tall, roll the shoulders back. Good. Again, try not to let your head go up and down, just those heels. Nice, keep them lifted. Pulses, here we go. So instead of pull up and down, we're just gonna pulse right here. Good, take some deep breaths. You got this. Hopefully you're building some heat by now. I love bar because I love that I don't, I'm not like pounding pavement, which I do adore, but every now and then I need to be able to exercise where my joints are not gonna hate me, amen? And stand all the way up, woo, shake it out. Super simple, you're just gonna stack those feet the other direction. And again, we're gonna think about the down first instead of the up, just for our brains. Here we go, bend your knees, lift your heels, stand up, heels down. Bend your knees, lift your heels, stand up, heels down. Again, bend, heels up and down. Bend, heels up and down. Keep going, bend, heels up and down. Bend, heels up and down. Bend, knees up and down. Bend, knees up and down this time, bend, just your heels, just your heels. Nice. Nice, few more, belly button to your spine, nice and tall. Good, leave your heels up, here we go, little pulses. Keep your tailbone tucked underneath you. Nice, stand all the way up, sweet, and heels come down. Heels come together, last thing before we kind of move out of our first and second position here, there's no fifth on this one. So go ahead and take those heels up and then bring your heels together. Yes, yeah, so there's no space. Roll your shoulders back, find that squat. Here we go, those knees press like we did in our warm up. Gotta breathe, so now we're gonna be able to do it in that first position helps whenever we have a bar. Good, woo, stand it up, shake it out. Excellent, all righty, one hand down, one hand off. Feet are in turned out, which just means your toes are out to the side. 
Good. Bend your knees. So this is an attitude, this nice like up shape. Think about your ankle coming towards the ceiling and your knees staying wide. Here we go. Good. Awesome. I think we have enough space to keep our bar on one side. Good. Good, we're gonna take it some swings. So you're gonna sweep through and that same attitude to the back. So your back ankle is gonna lift to the ceiling, ankle to the ceiling, knee is nice and wide. Nice attitude swings here. So if we slow it down, we are indeed passing through this first position. Again, and then checking in with our core, making sure we're not like lackadaisy going back and forth here. Staying up nice and tall. Most of the work in that leg. Great for your brain. And lubricating those hips. Sometimes you just really need to move them in a new direction. Good, and takes to the back. That nice attitude position, you can reach forward. You can even, let me turn to the side. So you can reach forward a little bit. You don't have to be directly upright for this. You can have a little bit of a lean, take some of that pressure out of your back. Good. Think about lifting that ankle to the ceiling behind you. Good, breathe. Awesome, sweep it through, back and forth, here we go. Arm can be out to the side or can be on your hip. And next time it's in front, you're gonna keep it there. Here we go. You have that nice attitude shape, taking it across your body, flex your foot. So you're trying to keep this shape and take that leg across your body. So put your hand on your hip so that your hips don't start to go with you. You're just taking that leg across. Ooh. Good, take that same flex foot, just open it up to the side. My leg's kind of at a diagonal for my body here and knees just going up and down. Good, check in with your shoulders, make sure they're not creeping up by your ears. You can flex or point that foot, it's up to you. I do most of my stuff in points, so I'm just giving myself a little bit of a change up here. Good, breathe. Try not to let your hip get higher and higher. Keep that hip down, just that leg is going up and down. Cool. Awesome, we got this. Four, three, two, how's that leg? One, don't let it sag, ah la la, yeah. All right, again, let's just go into those leg sweeps directly on the other side. But to begin with, heels and toes down, front shoulders back, excellent. If you wanna switch sides, if that's easy for you, you can do that. Otherwise, you can just move it tight, bit closer into your bar. Again, think of that ankle lifting towards the ceiling. Knee is going wide here. And if you want to be fancy, you can always have one arm up. Or you can have that hand right on your hip, really anywhere you want it. As long as your chest is nice and open. Good. Second leg is always a tad bit harder. All right, swings, here we go. So sweeping through, you're gonna attitude to the back, sweep through, attitude to the front. Good, sweeping back and forth. Good. 
working through that hip. Getting some nice movement here. Okay, keep going. Next time to the back, you get to keep it there. Here we go, pulses. You can put a little micro bend in your standing leg if you need to, but think, ankle to the ceiling back there. Yes, reach forward. Okay, remember, not up by your ear. Roll those shoulders down. Good, knee is still wide. Don't let it sag down. Keep it wide to the side. <laughs> awesome sweeps here we go sweep 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 again great for your hip also great for your brain having to sweep through that first position if you can you have to like let go of your point and then refine it each time Definitely find ways to work our brains, especially when we incorporate into our body. So good. Next time, it's to the front. You get to keep it there. All right. Knee is wide. Flex your foot if you want. And then just that leg goes across. Don't let your hips go with it. Just take that leg across. Keep this nice shape. Again. Think about that ankle coming up to the ceiling. Good. See if you can stand up. So I'm kind of like dumping in this hip. Do you see this whenever I bring it up? Ooh, yeah, that makes it a little harder. You're like, I don't know if I'm doing that. Exaggerate it and then fix it and then you'll know. Good. Excellent, switch that position. You can flex your foot or point it to get out of that diagonal. Just that leg lifts. Yes, I know the standing hip has things to say about this. You got this. Good. Nice and tall. Again, you can point or flex this foot, doesn't matter. Try to keep that knee, keep coming up and up and up and up. Got it, for four. Three, two, and one. Woo, let that go. Nice. All righty. Let's work into our arms for a minute here. You can, the easiest option is using your back of your chair. Second hardest option is using the bench part of your surface if you're on a chair or seat, couch. Lastly, the hardest one would be coming down into plank. So having those hands on the ground. All right, we're gonna just take some standard push-ups to begin with. Knees can be on the ground or off. And again, you can be on the back of that chair or whatever is gonna work for you. Push-ups, here we go, just down and up. I'd rather you get full range of motion than go on the same pace as me. So if you go a little slower, that's totally fine. And let it go. You can just stand up if you're on your feet or come to your knees if you're down here. Excellent. This time you're gonna bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. So instead of your hands being a little bit wider, we're gonna bring them right underneath your shoulders. And those elbows are gonna brush right by your sides for some tricep push-ups. So especially if you're on the ground, you might wanna be on your knees for this one. You'll find out kind of fast. So. Again, full range of motion over speed is our jam. Whenever you're ready, go for it. Good. 
Good, and take a rest. Woo! Awesome. Alrighty. And then we're gonna hold a plank. So again, you can do this off the back of your chair, your bench, or the floor. Yes? Alrighty. Getting into position. So regular plank, you're here. If you're on your chair, you know, you're out like this, right? Okay, so just keeping that core engaged. If you're on the floor, you can always drop to your knees if you need to. Of course, we can't just stay here. That would be too easy. So when you're ready, taking your right leg back, heel up or point your toe. Point your toe is probably better, especially if you're standing. And just little pulses. Nice. Switch out your feet. Here we go. Pulses. Good. Let it go. Find your knees. Get out your hands for a moment. Oh, nice. Whew. Okay. We're going to meet back up at our bar. Hopefully, your arms got a little bit of engagement there. I'm gonna go ahead and come on over onto those forearms, just like onto your hands. It's super helpful if you have a, like a shorter chair or shorter bar. But if you're with me, then you, you got what you got, right? All right. So back of the couch, even the countertop is good for this guy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your ankles. So again, we have this turned out position like we had before, or this attitude rather. Good. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna bend both, extend both, bend both, extend, bend and extend, bend, extend, bend, extend. Good, you can keep going or you can level up, be in that releve, yes? So you bend, extend, bend, extend, maybe try it for a few times. And if you like it, you can keep it. If you're like, mm, going back down flat foot, that's fine. Good. extend, leave it back there, flex your foot, take that leg out at a diagonal, and then heel to the sky, toes down, pulses. Really strengthening our back here. Breathe into it again, kind of want a nice lean, but belly button is in. So you're not letting your belly dump out, keeping your belly button into your spine. Micro bend in that standing leg and let it go. You kind of work it out. Awesome. Technical terms. All right, so whenever you're ready, heels in, toes out, roll your shoulders back. We're just going to go straight to the other side. Um, like Sometimes I give you like 50 combinations, like, oh yeah, I figure out where we started. All right, so connecting your ankles, bend both knees, extend back, bend and extend. Chest is nice and proud. Meanwhile, belly button is still in. Good. Keep going. Thanks. Few more. Three, two, one. Maybe if you want that releve, you can be on your toes here. Just a gentle knee bend, right? Nothing too crazy. Knee stays wide on your moving leg, though. Good. Keep your releve or drop back down to the last few. Good. Leave it extended. You can come onto your forearms, flex your foot, toes down, heel up at that diagonal, pulses. Good. Breathe. Again, nice tight core here. It's not moving. Just that leg. Keep a nice micro bend in your standing leg, just as long as you're not locking it out. That's what you want to make sure. Good, let it go. 
Excellent. Awesome. Place your hands on your bar and just let your chest fall through. Good, all righty. Then go ahead and make your way on down to your mat or the floor. Whatever you got is fine. We will be on our knees here though. So if you wanna put like a towel or a blanket or something extra squishy under your mat, you can do that. Cool, all righty. And then go ahead and if you're like, oh, my floor is super dirty, you can do all this from your bar in reality, okay? So you can do this all too. All righty. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have one leg back. Yes. Nice, here we go. So knee comes to elbow or tricep and straight back. So again, always an option to be doing this from your bar or your ledge rather. You can also be doing these from plank if you need something a little harder. Belly button to your spine. Good, fire hydrant. So bending both knees come together, seem like open and close, open and close, open and close. Good, so if you are standing, you're just gonna lean over onto your forearms. And if this creeps up into your hands, you can always be on your fists here as well. One more, good. Get off your hands for a moment. Roll out your wrists. Woo. All right, we have rainbows coming up. I'm just checking out my space situation. I think I got enough room. All right, again, all right, come over onto your forearms or those hands. You can also be in plank, up to you. Same leg is gonna be working here. You're gonna tap your toes behind you, take them out to the side. So nice straight leg here. Trying to keep your core engaged. You don't want to be too much like a slinky here, but if you have a little bit of wiggle, that's fine. You just want to try to keep it nice and tight and in on that core. So this is a half moon where you're just kind of tracing the ground. Feel free to stay here. If you want to make it a rainbow, you're going to put a nice little arc in there, up and over. Good. Uh, keep going. Think about arcing both directions and lightly tapping your toe down. Don't just like slam it into the ground or release it, keeping that engagement the whole time. Good. A few more. Nice, take that same leg back out behind you. All right, hands are gonna stay underneath your shoulders for the most part, and you're gonna take some different push-ups as you just let your chest melt to the ground. So keeping your hips up should almost be easier for your arms. You're just holding that leg up behind you. Good, and let it go. Nice. Get off those hands for a moment. Go ahead and flip over onto your side. So same leg we were just using is gonna be your leg on top. Nice. So again, you can do this from standing, but preferred would be on the ground. All right, you're gonna go ahead and drop down all the way and just take that knee in front. Good, point your toes and lift up and down that bottom leg. You can keep your hand under your head or you can recline all the way up to you.
Watch your foot, keep going. Good, point your toe, keep going. Trying to get that leg up. Uh -huh. Good, flex your foot, keep going. Last of them on this leg. Ooh. Oh, sweet, let it go. Awesome, take that front leg out on top or out in front of you rather. Hand is going to be on the ground. You're going to want to use that. And then peel your toes up off the ground. So you're in this nice flex. You can kickstand this back leg in or leave it out. It is up to you. And nice and slow, begin to lift it all the way up high as you can go. Keeping a nice flex foot, nice straight leg, nice and slow. Do not drop it. Bring it slowly back down. Just your heel is going to tap whenever it gets there. And back up. Nice, and slowly bring it back down. Just the top and back up you go. And slowly taking it back down. And slowly back up. Nice, and back down. Just the heels gonna tap. Keep your nice flex foot. Try to keep your legs straight. You got this last time. And taking it back down. Good, excellent. Bending both knees. Toes are gonna come up off the ground. Gonna keep those toes together as we open and close. Open, and close, open, close, open. You just have five more here. Five, four, Three, two, one. Keep the shape, send it back at a diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, five more. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, excellent. Go ahead and sit yourself up. Move it around to the other side. Start on your hands and knees. Again, you can be on your bar for all of this. Whew. All right, and then remember your option. If your wrists start to creep up on you or your hands start to hurt, you can always be on your fist for these. Make sure you're not gonna hit anything. Step one. All right, you're taking that leg out behind you. Hold it for now. Think about your hip going down. So instead of your hip opening up to the side, we're gonna bring that hip down, belly button in, Good, and then just sink into your chest, let your chest sink towards the ground, and then pull that chest away from the ground. Now you're in position. Here we go. Knee comes in and back, in and back. Option, you can try to kiss your knee to your arm, or if you want, you can just close by your other knee and taking it straight back, up to you. Few more. And taking a fire hydrant. Here we go. Out to the side and in. Out and in. Out and in. Good. Belly button still towards your spine. You're not sinking down into that chest straight. That'll also help take some of the weight out of your hands whenever you use your abs and pull your chest away from the ground. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Get off those hands for a moment. We have those half moons or rainbows coming up. Good. 
it. Coming back onto your hands and knees. Knees are underneath your hips, hands are under your shoulders. Take that leg out and back behind you. You're gonna tap across and then tap out to the side. Again, trying not to have a slinky spine. Keep your abs engaged. A little bit of movement is gonna happen and that's totally normal and fine. You just wanna make sure that you're still keeping everything engaged. Good. Awesome, and if you want, you can change it to that rainbow, putting a nice arc in it, if you haven't already. Good, belly button to your spine. Good, again, remember you can always be on your fist if you wanna be. Make sure you're still breathing. Awesome, leave it out long behind you. Hands are under those shoulders and just dip your chest to the ground. Keep your leg out behind you. And one. Woo, nice. Get off those hands. Let's go ahead and roll over onto our side here. Oh. My butt slush hip is not happy that we're laying on it. <laughs> it's like we just used that muscle in the lap. I know. Alrighty, <laughs> go ahead and stack your knee up in front. Again, you can stay propped up or you can recline all the way. Bottom leg, put your toe. Here we go, up and down. Trying to get it as high as you can. Uh, breathe. Uh, flex your foot, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Good, point your toe, keep going, you got this. A little bit higher, can you get it? Flex your foot, last off. Ah. One more. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Woo, all righty, go ahead and prop yourself back up. And then take that leg out in front, all the way, straight leg. Again, this bottom leg, you can kickstand it in or leave it out, up to you. Good, flex your toes up off the ground, straight leg, and it's nice and slow. Super flex, super straight, super slow. And slowly back down again. Do not just let it collapse. Just your heel is gonna touch down when it finally does. Just barely tap, not letting it fully relax all the way. Good. Again, gently tap and slowly back up. Nice straight leg here. As straight as you can. Try to keep it in control. Nice flex foot. Good, and slowly back down again. And nice, up oh, last time, so super slow. Always wanna speed, because I the last time, don't do it. Go so slow, extra slow. 
Don't beat me to the bottom. <laughs> nice flex. Just that heel's gonna tap and let it go. Excellent, bending both knees. We're gonna take those knees up and then lift those ankles up off the ground. Keep your toes connected. Knees open, here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep this shape, send it to the back for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, let it go. Oh, and roll over onto your back. Excellent. Go ahead and bend your knees. Maybe rock those knees side to side. Just massage out your low back for a moment. Good, hands come behind your head, knees come up, full bicycle. So opposite knee, opposite elbow, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, nice and slow. And let it go. Ah, all righty, laying down on your back. Whew. All right, taking those hands, you can have them underneath your hips or beside your hips, or you can leave them behind your head, up to you. But extend those legs out long. I just like to hang onto my hips or put them under my hips. Good, chin to chest and little leg lifts, here you go. Itty bitty leg lifts. And let it go. Ah, all righty. So in and out. So instead of crossing over, we're just going to go wide and in, wide and tap. Ready? Curl your chin to your chest. Here we go. Wide and tap, wide and tap. And let it go. Excellent. Last set, we have flutters. Itty bitty flutters. So curl your chin to your chest and lift those legs up, flutter. Try to breathe and let it go. Oh, nice. Excellent. All righty, and then go ahead and bring those feet up, rolling over onto one side. Go ahead and sit all the way up. Keep those legs nice and wide. Straddle, flip, wide V, whatever you want to think about. You can point or flex your feet here. Just engage them. Don't let them just hang out in space. And breathe. You find that you don't have a lot of space, like you're kind of back like this. You can always place your hands behind you and press yourself forward. And walk yourself back up. You're just gonna take one leg in, nice to your midline. It doesn't have to like you don't have to like cram it in. Okay, just put it, put it down somewhere. All right, inhale, exhale up and over. Good. Try to keep your chest open on the side. Nice side body stretch here. Good, and then turn your chest towards that leg. Good, bring it on back up, switch it out. Other side. Excellent. Inhale, reach up and over again, chest stays open on the side. You can put this bottom hand wherever you want. I like to just like put it into the inside of my leg to keep my chest open. But you can reach for that foot if you want. Good, and then turn your chest to face your leg. 
If you're up here, that's fine. Whatever you got. Good, and then make your way back up, bringing both legs in. Again, same thing, you don't have to like scrunch them in super tight. And I'm a little bit further away from you if that's more comfortable. So nice and tall, inhale. And exhale over. Good, breathe. Good, and then set it back up. Just gonna place your hands behind you. Feet are gonna go a little bit wider than your hips. And you're just gonna let those knees fall to one side. Good, and let them fall to the other side. And then you can just kind of winch like run back and forth a little bit. Just kind of, again, working into those hips. Letting them that we see them, we love them. Good, all right, and then whenever you're ready, you're gonna make your way on back up tucking your toes underneath you, so on top of your feet coming in for toe stand, or awkward pose, do yoga. So again, you can leave your hands on the ground. Maybe you wanna like stretch out your feet more, letting those heels come up, knees come up. Or if you wanna work on your balance, you can be right here. Good, and then hands come to the ground, send those hips up, stay in a forward fold. Breathe, so you can have your hands on the ground with a gentle knee bend if you need that, or you can just let your arms dangle, with straight legs. As long as you're breathing. And then bend those knees, roll all the way up. Oh, excellent. Go ahead and come back to your ledge. We're gonna do figure four standing. I think it's awesome. So. Flex your foot, cross it over above your knee, and then sink your hips low. Ooh. And again, breathe. Nice. Go ahead and stand it on up. Let that go. And other leg. Flex your foot, cross it over, and then sink it down into your chair. Ooh. Good, and stand it on back up. Excellent, take those feet a little bit wide. Inhale up and over. Ah. Good, and back, other side. We did this more on the ground, so I'm not gonna stay here for forever. It feels good, yeah? Good, bring those feet underneath your hips and then just side to side, let it go. Take some deep inhales, deep exhales. Good, take your thumbs nice and wide. Open up your chest, maybe look up. If you want to interlace your fingers behind you, you can do that. Good, and then thumbs go down, look down. Nice. Take a nice big inhale, arms reach up. Exhale down, this time we're gonna cactus your arms. Inhale up, open up your chest, cactus arms. Inhale, reach back up. And exhale down, good. Taking one foot behind you, inhale. And exhale. Nice work. All right, I hope you had fun. I hope you feel like a little bit better in your body and like you did something. See you guys later. <laughs>